Aloha. <laughs> I just filmed about 10 minutes of just sort of blithering about this book, which is so good. But I realized I wasn't actually saying anything, just trying to describe what happens in the book. And nobody wants to hear me going, oh yeah, and this happened and that happened and it was good. So I'm gonna try again. The book is Demon King by Eric Henry Vick. Um, right now it's $2.99 on Amazon or free if you have Kindle Unlimited. I pulled it up with Kindle Unlimited, um, which I think my subscription is almost, the free part of my subscription is almost up, by, so I need to check that and hurry and get more books. Um, I'm going to read the synopsis from Goodreads first. Ancient evils lurk in the western New York town of Oneka Falls, and they are hungry. Only three children have encountered them and lived. Psyches fractured, each child has survived as best they could. Wrapped in fantasy, the comfort of amnesia, or the silence of isolation. When those evils intrude on their lives a second time, it sets a chain of events in action that can only end in destruction. But who will be destroyed? The children? or the ancient evils that plague the town. Mm -hmm. This is true horror, I guess fantasy, because it's demons, but it's horror. It's, I mean, I was like pushing my reading time on this every night. Um, and it says, Oh, I wonder where it says about how long the book is. Um, it says, whoa, it says it's like a seven and a half hour read according to the little thing at the bottom of my Kindle. It is, does it say pages? Sometimes it says pages. Oh, page 11. Oh, it's like, yeah. Let's go to the end and see. So the actual book, 642 pages, and then it has like the bibliography stuff at the end. Um, you know, the author's website and the author's notes and stuff. And this author typically writes more of a fantasy genre this is the only horror book I saw in his um, Amazon store. I'll have to go back and look. But it was written in 2018. There's nothing in here about a sequel. I'm hoping there's going to be one. There's room for one. It doesn't necessarily have to have a sequel. It could just be one of those great endings that just you don't know. And you want to know, but at the same time, could a sequel be as good as the first one? It's kind of hard to tell. So, there are several characters in this book that you have to follow, not only through the book, but through time. Because this is one of those books, the first chapter takes place in 1979, second chapter takes place in 2007 and it alternates back and forth throughout the whole book. 1979, 2007, 79, 07, 79, 07. So, you know, I read the first chapter and the chapters are a little bit long because it encompasses quite a bit in that time frame. But, um, like when I read the first part of 1979 and then well, I read the first chapter, 1979, and I was hooked. I mean, within the first sub-chapter, I was hooked. Um, this kid goes to buy a bicycle from an ad he gets out of the newspaper, because it's 1979, they have newspapers, not Craigslist. And so he gets some money to go buy this bicycle that he wants, and then he's never seen again. And so... And when the police go to check out the house, you know, after his friend kind of alerts his dad and says this guy hasn't been at school. And so the police go to check out his, at 
the house where he was, where he went to get the bicycle, and it hasn't even been lived in. There's no dust. I mean, there's dust, but there's no prints. There's nothing's been moved around. You could tell it's been a vacant house for a long, long time. And then we go into it, other stuff happens. Um, there's another character named Randy who is the missing boy's mother's boyfriend and he's abusive to both the mother and the son and so the police go to try and get him out of the house uh, and that causes a whole like another part of the story that's all entwined with the demon part and so in we get to chap to 2007 and then it's going through character names I'm like oh my god which one was that and I'd have to go back and check in the first chapter and see which one it was um and it was like okay sheriff mike oh there was a mike mike was one of the friends okay got it and so it basically it tells you know these kids what happened to them when they were kids and then it goes in and brings them in as adults and how they have to deal with it even more and how they have been dealing with it like it said that um you know some dealt with it by amnesia some by you know maintaining isolation that's these kids and they each had their own way of dealing with it and you know this is where I get into trouble I don't know what I can say that won't take take it to the ending and ruin it because it's such a suspenseful book it's like every chapter it's like oh god what's going to happen now and then you get drawn out when you get to the end of the chapter you're not only drawn out of the chapter you're drawn out of the time frame because you get sent back to 1979 or forward to 2007 and it's like but what happened there and so you have to go back and forth through the whole book but I really like I said I pushed I, I don't remember if I said it in this one or in the one that I deleted. I really pushed my reading time on this at night. I was reading it. This is another one that really got me and I was reading it. You know, I was taking my Kindle everywhere, reading it when I was in line somewhere, which I used to do all the time and I loved it. I always had a book on me and I would read, you know, when I was in line at the bank, back when you had to go into the bank. You know, or at the grocery store or wherever I was, I would just whip out my book and be reading. And I've really missed that aspect the last couple of years. I just haven't been finding that good of books. So to find one like this, it just, you know, this one and that last one that I had reported on, which, what was the name of that one? I can't even remember the name of that. I'm going to have to put it down here. I'll link it wherever you link, um, I will link to that review uh, because that was another good one that, and it was, you know, it kept me going back and forth. And I, I didn't know at the time, you know, when I first started it, that they were different time frames, but they were different perspectives. And so, the boy, something about a boy. The little kid that was kidnapped, I, I remember the picture. <gasps> Gosh, it still gives me shivers. <laughs> anyway, so this is another book I can highly recommend, especially if you like horror stories. Um, I mean, the title is Demon King. It is about demons. Uh, there's a seductress. There's the demon king that likes to play with children. Play with children in many ways um oh, hide and seek in the forest with a demon that should draw you in <laughs> and then there's the the mom's boyfriend randy he's in both time frames because he's a vietnam vet who is a sniper and not 
it's more than PTSD. This, this guy is mentally unstable in all kinds of ways. And the demons get a hold of him. And I, I really, you know, to imagine this kind of horror actually taking place is, you know, it's like, okay, that's like too much violence, too much, you know, it, it doesn't happen. But then we see the horrors of like these school shootings and the mosque shootings and you, you kind of have to wonder. So can I recommend Demon King? 100%. Oh, yes. Two thumbs up, five stars, 10 stars, whatever system you want to go by. It's at the top of it. Um, I hate comparing authors to authors and books to books, but this kind of goes back to Stephen King and it with the kids going out and fighting the demon, the clown. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of that, but I, I really don't want to compare it because they are different writers. And, but it's that level of writing, you know, it's the Stephen King level of writing. So, um, Stephen Koontz, um, Dean Koontz, two different Koontzes, uh, but uh, very good, very, you know, if you if you like horror, if you like the demon kind of thing, if you like, um, if you liked it, I think you would like this book. And I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about the book, and because I saw. Okay, well, my camera battery died when I was in that, and um, I can't even think about where I was at the time. I think I was talking about it, but. I can't remember what. So, basically, get the book, read the book. It's a good book. I'm looking in the wrong place again. <sighs> phone. I'm, I'm recording on my phone now, and so I'm off. <laughs> but, um, uh, gosh. Anyway, the book is like, so worth the time spent reading it. Uh, I I absolutely loved it and I am going to keep checking for books from this author and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.